So how would you like to start making upwards of $3,000 a month from home? Starting at $0 down with your own print-on-demand business. In this video, I'm going to set up my first print-on-demand business, so stay tuned. And by the end of the video, you will also be able to start your first print-on-demand business. So what exactly is print-on-demand? Print-on-demand is when you work with suppliers like Printify that provides you with blank products like hats and t-shirts, hoodies, phone covers. They've even got face masks, mugs, and tumblers. They do socks. They have quite a variety of product. Now you're going to take these products and place your own unique design that I'm going to demonstrate how to create in this video on those products and sell them as your own on platforms like Etsy and Shopify. Okay, let's dive in. First thing we want to do is start with keyword research. For that, I'm going to suggest using a site called Etsy Hunt. I'm just going to go ahead and type in hoodies and the software will give you a detailed readout of the product sales, the competition you're facing, and so on. Okay, now we need to move on to product research. I'm just going to use Etsy and simply type in hoodies. Now you want to look around here and find products that are selling well and have good product reviews. Take your time and really look around here. And then, once you found a design that you like, we can move on with the process. After you have chosen what style and design you would like to emulate, then we can just look around at some of their inventory for even more ideas. And as you can see, I'm not going to overthink this. I'm going to go with a pretty simple white skull on black hoodies and shirts. Possibly in the future, I'll do other products, but for now, I'm just going to keep it really simple. This is to demonstrate that anybody can do this. Really don't have to overthink things here. So now that you have a clear idea of what style you want to base your designs on, we're going to move over here to Canva. Here I'm going to select print products and then go into the hoodies template. And here you can see a bunch of images you can base your designs on. Canva really does have a huge inventory of images. You can see here just how many options, flower, retro, space, they have streetwear, good vibes, simple. If you look, some of these are a pretty good starting place as is. Now just note, you can't use Canva images as they are. You do need to alter them in some way before commercial use. Now I'm sticking with the white skulls on black hoodies theme. So I'm going to start looking through some of these magic recommendations from Canva. And these are just examples. Take as much time as you need to design something you're happy with here. Now you could stop here with some minor changes, but I'm going to take you a step further and head on over here to an AI art generator called dreamlike.art. Once you're all signed up and in the software, you'll be able to generate variations and new images based on your original designs in Canva. As you can see, these are my original designs downloaded from Canva. So I'm going to upload these images and now you're just going to generate some variations and see what this comes up with. So far, I've been really impressed with the images generated here and I think there's a ton of potential for this software if used with creative prompts. In my opinion, this software is Midjourney's biggest competition and produces some awesome quality images. However, I'm keeping it simple, so I just requested that it enhance my original image and add something creative. And as you can see, I'm downloading these images as they're produced. Then I'll take them back to Canva for the final touches. When you sign up with dreamlike.art, you will get 20 free credits. I was able to generate all of these images on those credits. Now, after you have downloaded these images, you want to go back into Canva. Go to print products again, click on hoodies. And from here, we can upload our images from dreamlike.art so we can remove the background and begin enhancing the image. So I'm going to upload the image and go ahead and remove the background. Just click edit photo and use the background remover tool. As you can see, the image is a little rough still and needs some work. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing with the adjustments. I'm going to use the blacks and whites, the vibrancy, the shadows, etc. until I'm happy with my image. And once you're happy with your image, you can go ahead and download it. Be sure when you download to check the transparent background box, as that will be important for your design to print properly on your final product. And now you're ready for the final stage. Let's go design our product in Printify. Here you want to start a new design, and then you're going to click on my device, then select your image, and bam, now you can place your images where you would like on your mockups. Move them around as you would like. I'm going to shrink this skull image into the upper left hand corner of the front of the hoodie. I think this looks good. 
Then I'm gonna flip to the reverse side, enlarge it, and place it right in the center, as you can see. And once you're happy with your images and placement, you can preview it on the mockups. So as you can see, Printify makes it easy to design your products. And I really do believe anybody can start a print on demand business like this. So that's it. You have successfully created your product in Printify and you're ready to connect your Etsy store. So let's do it. I'm gonna to connect to store. And as you can see, you have a list of stores you can connect with, including Walmart, Squarespace, Big Commerce, Shopify, and of course we are gonna use Etsy. So I will click on Etsy and sign in with my Google account. Then we're gonna grant access, just click here and bam, there you have it. Success, you are now officially in business. If you haven't set up your Etsy store yet and would like me to do a follow-up video on properly setting up your Etsy store, then just drop a comment down below and if I receive enough comments, I'll do a full tutorial on how to set up your Etsy store. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and if you found any value in the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.